Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. I'm here today with Luke Smith. Guys, Luke's 22 years old. Let me tell you this. So number one, Luke is an Army Ranger. I'm going to let him introduce himself here in just a second. So a couple weeks back, uh, maybe, maybe a month or two, uh, Luke starts doing some training with me. He decides he's going to go into the automotive business. And by the way, let me tell you this. this video, what this video is about is I have an Andy Elliott role play app. And, and I love it. And I really will tell people it will help you overcome every objection on the lot. Luke bought the role play app. He's been role playing at home. This is going to be a competition here to see if Luke's going to break using the role play app. Now check this out. The reason why I picked Luke, obviously he's normal. He's just like anybody, but Luke is an army ranger. And by the way, to become an army ranger, you got to be a lethal animal. I mean, like in your head, you got to decide, man, I'm going to become the best and there's a next level of me and you're going to have to push hard to get to it or it's not going to happen. Okay. Um, there's no like special magic trick to get through that training. It's suck it up, put in the work. And when you do and you grind through it, there's this magical reward at the end. It's just like selling cars. So I am uh, one honored to, to be around this man. I'm going to mentor him. I'm going to help him. I'm going to push him guys. He's amazing. Uh, look, introduce yourself. Hey guys, so I'm Luke. Um, so I'm about to get out of the army. I've been in the army for the last four years, currently from Ohio, now down near Georgia. Um, so I'm getting out, going to go to college and I couldn't really figure out what I want to do for a job. But you know, I've, I've always loved cars and my mom brought up the point actually, like, hey, why don't you go to a car dealership and you know, give it a try. So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, I went in for an interview. Um, I got the job on the spot, zero sales experience. The only reason why I got the job was because my boss was a Green Beret, which is like special forces in the army. And we knew some of the same people and we just like hit it off, bro out, you know, I got the job and then, you know, I'm like, okay, how can I be the best at this? I don't want to just show up and have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so I typed in on YouTube, like car sales, blah, blah, blah. And I went through some videos cause there's some guys who have like like short videos that have like a hundred thousand views. I'm like, Oh, this must work. And then I came across Andy Elliott. And from the first time that I started watching his videos, I could like link in my mind, like, okay. So every car dealership that I've ever been to and somebody's tried to sell me a car, I've had, I've owned three cars in my life. The way that he does it versus how my experience has been in the past is completely different. It's like all about building relationships and doing it the right way not just trying to sell a customer, get a bunch of money, but like actually doing it the right way. So I'm like, oh shoot, okay. So I got out a notebook and I started writing down all this information. And it was about a week of me only watching YouTube. And I went in on a Saturday when I wasn't actually working because I have weekends off. And I shadowed the top guy. Um, his name was Alex. He was in the Air Force for like 20 some years. And he's only been working there for like half a year. And everybody's like, this is the best guy. This is the best guy. He sells, you know, he sold 20 cars last month. He broke his own record. And like the pay plan for my own store goes up to 26 cars a month. It's not based off of gross. It's based off how many cars you sell. So I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, 20 cars. I'm like, okay, you know, Andy and everybody else that works under Andy or trains from him makes 20 cars seem kind of weak. So I'm like, okay, I got to see how this goes. And I was shadowing him for like eight hours and him compared to everybody else in the store. He was definitely outperforming, but like the other 90% of the workers in the store sitting around drinking coffee when they did take it up, it was ridiculous. They just like run outside really quick, not build any rapport with the customer. And it would just be like, Oh, Hey, what's your best price? Oh, okay. Uh, never mind. We're just looking. Yep. See ya. And then the Alex guy, I chat, you know, he was doing some stuff, right. But like, even the, the minute details, he did not go in depth with the sales process that Andy goes through. And then I remember waiting on the pencil, right? He brings it back. He's like, Oh, okay. Mr. Customer. Um, here's the price, you know, choose one of these options because of the store that I'm working through. They give you like nine options with down payment payment. Um, choose the one that works best for you. And just stared at him, like put his hands together and was smiling. And the customer had all the time in the world just to like, look at it and be like, Oh, okay. So this is when I negotiate, started negotiating, said that I want more for my trade, but like, Oh, okay. So what, what do you think your cars were? It's like, so in my mind, I'm thinking like, so the store wasn't going to offer them top value for their trade in. 
you know? Um, so the lady ended up leaving and I was like thinking like, just from watching a week of only YouTube, not the courses that Andy has online, but just YouTube alone from his free content, I just could depict all these things that people were doing wrong and I've never sold a car before. And at least in the military, how it works is what you practice in private is shown in public. So when you deploy and you go out on missions, you don't get lucky, you know, especially when bullets start flying, you don't get lucky. It's the years of training and practice behind the scenes that show up. And that's when the real, you know, that's when you win, you win before you even go out and fight. And like, I can directly see that with Andy's training, you can train and practice in private. And when come game day and you're selling cars, you're ready to go. And that's why I think Andy's training is better than everybody else's. And I've committed a hundred percent to this. Dude, you're amazing. I'm just going to tell you if anybody right now, didn't just get freaking jacked up listening to that. And especially Here. talking about how soldiers go into war and making that little parallel about like, you don't get lucky when the bullets start flying in. You don't get lucky when tough objections start flying in. If you don't know what to no. do in the military, you, you sink to the lowest level of your skill, right? Is it something like that with the seals? Yeah. 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 And, and the deal is, is that you You're have to skill. Like, yeah. 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 So you have to skill up every day. And if you don't skill up, what's going to happen is your competition is going to crush you or your enemy, whoever it is, they're going to crush you. And that just ain't going to happen. We can yeah, let that yeah. happen in our house. And anyways, with that being said, guys, sure, Luke's sure. amazing. He's freaking awesome. I want to start rock and rolling. If you don't know and you're not aware of this, um, I'll put it down in the link below. But we have an Andy Elliott role play app and it covers a lot of objections. It covers phone objections. It covers um, objections inside the store. Um, why don't you just flip it on? You're going to, he's going to hit play. It's going to feed an objection to him. Let's listen to him overcome it. And if he gets it right, boom, it'll pass him and I'll hand him another one. It's called rapid fire. So I'm going to hand it over to you, man. And let's just see how many you can get right in a row before you get. Ooh. Crushed. Come there on. We go. I feel like this is, yeah, when I started doing this, it's like going back to school, you know, like you do flashcards. I wrote these all down. It's just so much information, but I'm, I'm so hyped about this when I start working. So like what you do, I guess, when you first open up the app, at least um, you'll have like lot objections, you'll have phone objections, and then you'll have inside objections. So like the first one you can start off with is a lot. Okay, go ahead. It's all yours. We'll give this a try. We don't need to test drive this used car. We drove one just like it at the last lot. I understand, but a test drive doesn't have to be long, but it's always necessary. Even if it's down the service road, turning around and coming straight back, every car car is different. We take lots of pride in servicing our cars and that'll be seen and felt when you drive it. We don't feel like we can afford this vehicle. I understand how staying within budget is extremely important to you. So what you're telling me is that if I can find a way to make this vehicle affordable, then this is a vehicle we'd like to own? Ooh, okay. So I understand how staying within budget is extremely important. So what you're telling me is that if I can find a way to make this vehicle affordable, then this is the vehicle you'd like to own. Ah, great. Follow me inside. Okay. So if you fail, it gives you a recap and then you can redo it. We don't feel like we can afford this vehicle. I understand how staying within budget is extremely important. So what you're telling me is that if I can find a way to make this vehicle affordable, then this is the vehicle you'd like to own. Great. Follow me inside. There we go. I don't see anything that I like. At our dealership, we have hundreds of vehicles to choose from, and some of our best vehicles aren't even on the lot yet. Follow me inside. There we go. Freaking rock and rolling, baby. On this car, we want to go and get something to eat. We're starving. I'm starving too. I can understand how you can think that this part of the deal can take a while, but fortunately you have me and I'm extremely fast at this part of the deal. We're 98% already done. Let me show you how fast I am at this part of the deal. Okay. I'm sorry too. I can understand how you can think that this part of the process can take a while. Fortunately you have me and I'm extremely fast at this part of the deal and we're 98% already done. Let me show you how fast I can handle this last part for you. 
might be because I'm talking a little too fast. I'll, I'll slow it down a little bit. Yeah, that's okay, guys. And by the way, I, I just want you to do this before he presses this. Now, listen, I'm being quiet and letting him go through this because I want you guys to physically see that this right here, this is testing him. This is testing his word tracks, okay? And maybe you say, hey, Andy, you know, I like what you said, but, you know, I might change it up a little bit. That's great. I never want you to be a second-rated version of me. I want you to be a first-rated version of yourself, and you can flip it around. And by the way, when somebody says I'm starving, most people go into panic mode, they get triggered, and they lose their state. He's not losing his state. He's not getting triggered. And by the way, if, if, if this is something that sells people to do all around the country, I'm going to tell you this. If we were more prepared to overcome objections and our customer was forward to object, life would change immediately and you would triple your income. So um, I just want to tell you, if he gets it wrong, it'll read it back to him. And then he has to have 95% accuracy to pass and go to the next one. Go ahead. Yeah. So yeah, guys on top of this, like you, this is a lot of information. Um, before I even started like the car business from like the actual sales process from like the meet and greet all the way until they take the car home, there's just so much information in between that you need to master, you know, you can't just get lucky with people. And then especially with these word tracks, imagine a customer saying an objection to you. And instead of like thinking about it, stuttering, making the customer think that you're not competent or confident, and then having to go ask your manager a question, you won't have to do that anymore. Like I understand completely that I haven't sold cars before, but I want to be my own salesman and I want to be able to do everything myself. Like I don't want to have to rely on somebody else to like answer questions for me. If I train and practice on my own, that won't have to, that won't have to work. Like Andy's my coach. And if I need something that he hasn't already provided through his information, then he can tell me the right way to do it instead of me asking somebody that, like, oh, maybe try it this way. Like, I know Andy's methods are proven and they work because he's proven it, you know? Yeah, so. I love it, man, dude. I'm going to tell you, dude, this is absolutely insane. And by the way, the fact that Luke hasn't even started selling cars yet, guys, this is absolutely amazing. I want everybody to realize it's time to elevate our game, and we are extremely proud of him. This is awesome. Keep going. Let's run through some more. Okay, heck yeah. Before you give me figures on this car, we want to go and get something to eat. We're starving. I'm starving too. I can understand how you can think that this part of the deal can take a while, but fortunately you have me and I'm extremely fast at this part of the deal and we're 98% already done. Let me show you how fast I can handle this last part for you. This is my first stop. Whether this is your first stop or your last stop, I'm just grateful that I have the opportunity to help you buy a vehicle. At our dealership, we're high on all the critical areas that are important to your family, such as price, payments, and trade-in. After a test drive, I'll show you a five-minute proposal that you can't say no to. Mm, that was close. And by the way, once you overcome an objection, Guess what? Now you can get on to the other stuff that really matters. Yeah. That's the beautiful thing. Yes, sir. Here, I'm going to go through this one more time. This is my first I know stop. this one. It's on the heart, baby. Whether this is your first stop or your last stop, I'm grateful to have the opportunity to help you buy a vehicle. At our dealership, we're high on all the critical areas that are important to you and your family, such as price, trade and values, and payments. So it may be tempting after a test drive to show you a five-minute proposal that you can't say no to. There we go. What about we move on to some of the phone ones? Move to the phone objection. Let's go. You pick it. Heck yeah. And by the way, you can do these in order or on the backside, you can actually make them throw them at you random, right? Yeah. You can actually change them up. So if you want to answer them all in order, that's great. But also you can do them random to catch yourself off guard. You can, the app will handle how you want to do it. And, and also um, ch check this out. Like on a lot of objections, and stuff, I, I'm gonna say this, when he's going over it, if he doesn't understand an objection, he can tap on it, it'll flip over the screen and actually show a YouTube video over that objection. So it's built in pretty cool, man. Uh, but, but let's go to uh, let's, go, let's go to phone objections. Yeah, and then um, like on top of that, like what I did personally, so I can like memorize this information better, I, I wrote this stuff down in a notebook, like all the objections, and then I took those and I 
I switched it on to some like note cards, kind of like bring it back to like school era. So it's like, this is a lot of information guys and it's going to take time to learn. But if you implement yourself and like just go through note cards one to two times a day, do that for a month, you're going to have to know it by then. Instead of just guessing to see like, oh, maybe I'll try to win. Winning's a habit. You have to implement like training to get to where you want to be. So these That's note it. cards right here are freaking money. Winning's a habit and so is losing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You just got to decide which habit you want to have. Uh, so, so let's do it. Let's pick, uh, pick a couple phone objections. And I think everybody gets it. Number one, I'm sure anybody watching this video is extremely proud of you. And, and, I, and I just want to say this is probably something that should have been said earlier, but um, I appreciate you for serving too, man. I know one thing in the world is uh, you know, we, we all appreciate our military. You're, you're, and I call you, I call him a savage all the time. He's 22. He's literally paying the rent in advance and he's training his freaking butt off. And you guys are going to see this guy. This could be, and, and by the way, there's no difference in you and him and me. The difference between where you are today and where you want to go it's the gap in your skill set. And when you replace that gap with so skill, true. man, you crush everybody. And people like to put, you know, titles, Every time. right? People like to put titles on people doing extraordinary things. Okay. It, it has nothing to do. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. And I, and I can look at you right now, guys, you know, what is it? What, what does an army ranger look like? He looks like somebody who's willing to suffer and pay the rent for the reward. Am I right? And that's it. Yes, and a sir. lot of people say, oh, man, well, this guy's just talented and he can naturally learn better than me. Bull crap. Absolutely not. I have, to, I have to write things down like 30 times before I memorize it. Like when I first showed up, like how, how like special operations and stuff works, the people when you go through selection courses in the military, you think these studs who like play D1 football in college or like these just physical animals are the people that make it. No, it's the people who are willing to do the work and suffer and suck through it and get it done. I was more scared going to work because I didn't know like random information. Like someone would be like, oh, uh, how many settings can your M4 butt sock come out and how many inches in between is it? You know, like, oh, there's, there's four settings and the first settings at 1.25 inches and the next one's at 2.75. It's like all this information that isn't meaningless, not really, but it's just the fact that you train and practice on your own you have to know this information. And like, if it's from the military or the stuff that you're training me, Mr. Elliot, like I, you have to write it down over and over and over again until it's literally like you say, tattooed on your heart, like embedded in your brain. That's the only way to do it is repetition, repetition, repetition. Yes. And guess what? And, and when you don't know it, you go back again and then go yeah. back again and then go back again and then go back again. And, and you do it until you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of not knowing it. Yeah. Then you finally win and you fell forward every time you never fell backwards. It means this, when you don't get something right, you don't get discouraged and say, man, screw this. Only the hard stuff is only the hard stuff will get you a fulfilled life. Okay. I feel like everybody in life can take a right or can take a left and you can take a right and you still may have a good life. Okay. But a lot of people in life are going to die with regret and they could have taken a left early on in life and done the hard stuff that sucked and they could have had a way better life. But again, um, going back to people try to put titles on people doing extraordinary things. I'm just saying this, you haven't even started the car business. I know this, I was a GM as a, at a dealership for a very long time and we crushed it. And I had guys that would show up that had been selling cars for 10, 15 years that couldn't overcome, I need to think about it. And I'm just like, man, you know, what, what has gone on here? For 15 years, you know, you have been spending time in the store and your skill level is like a baby. You're still drinking breast milk, okay? I got a guy over yeah. here I've been training for six weeks and this guy can overcome over 30 objections and he knows how to overcome price, payment, trade-in. I'll get back with you. I need to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like he's... Dude, he's lethal on the phone. And guess what? He's just getting warmed up because he's paying the rent just like you're doing. So I just want to say, yeah. um, anybody to think that he's a good learner, he's not. He is actually, no. he's got his papers. He's got note cards. You know what I'm saying? Just 
understand that. So when we go through this, you know, and maybe this is a long video and no one ever watches it. Maybe they go all the way through it. Here's what I'll tell you. Anybody that's wanting to go to the next level, just like I was, they'll be sitting here right now at this point and they'll be soaking in as much as they can and taking notes just like I did and just like you'll do and just like any one percent or high achiever is going to do. Um, so, hey, let's, yeah. go to phone, let's, let's go to the phone objections. Let's hit a couple of those. Let's get it. Let's do it. I saw this vehicle advertised, but I can't go in today to see it or tomorrow. You know, I've had a lot of calls on this vehicle today, and I'm not, not sure it's going to last. You owe it to yourself to at least come in and look at it before it's gone. There we go. I appreciate you helping me over the phone, but I live an hour away. Let me ask you this. If you weren't willing to make the drive, would you have made the call? On the other hand, if I didn't think we could help you, I wouldn't ask you to come in either. So when is the earliest you can be here? Thanks for giving me all the information over the phone, but I was just interested in the vehicle that you already sold. We have the largest pre-owned inventory in the state. Now, if I could make you an even better deal on a vehicle with more options for less money, would you at least be interested? Heck yeah, baby. Can you tell me what my car's worth over the phone? We have a number of financing options available and we have over 40 lenders. Out of the 90% of customers that finance with us, buy from us. So we have to be doing something right. Okay. So I, I messed that one up. Okay. So, so the objection so, so, was, so, can you tell me? Yeah. What was the objection? Um, can you tell me over the phone what my, my financing terms will be? Okay. And what is it? What's the, what's it say the right thing is? Okay, so it says, are you familiar with what an independent buyer is? It's someone that works directly with dealerships like ours. Wait, one second. Back, back this. Wait, I, I think I'm, I'm screwed up on this one. one yeah, so it was an interest rate one and you went oh. out. Of that. It's okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, let me, let me do that one again. You, you feel like you can get this one? Yeah, I got it. Okay, here we go. Back to practice. Not what my financing options will be. Here we go. Can you tell me what my car's worth over the phone? Okay. Are you familiar with what an independent buyer is? It's someone that works directly with dealerships like ours that sometimes offers more money for trade-ins. Um, we have an independent buyer coming in today. So what time can you stop by so I can get you the absolute most you could ever get? There we go. Okay. Can you tell me over the phone what my financing terms will be? Okay. We have a number of financing options available as well as over 40 different lenders. And 90% of our customers that finance with us buy from us. So we have to be doing something right. Okay, cool. And, and look, and, sure. hey, and, I, and, and I'll kill it there with him. I'm going to tell you this. And, and by the way, just if you take the objections that he's gone over, I mean, the Andy Elliott role play app is, is built with streamlines of tons of stuff. If anybody's watching this and they're at this point in the video, number one, there's something I want to tell you. You're very serious about learning. Number one, I'm really proud of you. Okay. And number two, this is the way that Luke got started. He got started by watching YouTube videos, seeing that this is the kind of sales training that he wants. He wants to know that he, he, he wants to be able to handle the tough objections. Hey, I'm going to ask you a question. How long does it take you to get rusty? 24 hours, 12 hours, sometimes even three hours. I worked in a dealership. I watched guys go on a one day vacation and come back in and be freaking lost and work a day and a half trying to figure out where the hell they can pick back up to get caught up. And guess what? The role play app keeps you sharp on the daily. And just like Luke guys, he has no sales experience in the automotive industry. He is about to start. 
Every GM sales manager in the country, if they were watching this, they would say, I'm recruiting that guy. And guess what? I always say money follows attention. If you want to make massive money in your life, draw massive attention to yourself. Guess what? When you know what you're doing, your customers will buy and competence creates massive confidence. I'm looking at you right now, Luke, you've got a lot of confidence, man. And for not doing this job, I see a lot of people that are scared because they don't know how to get the training. They don't know where to get it. I would recommend anybody start kind of where Luke started. Watch some YouTube videos. Um, Luke has taken the zero to hundred K course. Am I right? Yeah. And I've gone through it at least three times, highlighted everything and rewrote it literally in this notebook. Like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys, but like this information, and I don't, if you're not jumping on it, you're not fulfilling your potential. Like even with the role play app, you don't only get the role play app, but every single Monday we get a zoom meeting where we get everybody together and Andy teaches us something new. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's amazing. We do live role play in it. It's all kind of, it's all cool. But, but here's another deal. He's coming to the master closer seminar in August and he's going to be training personally with us and 80 other people all around the country. So we're going to put him in the lion's den and bust him up and he's going to be ready. I already know it, but I'm going to, I'm going to have some life. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have some tricky stuff for him when he gets here. Yeah. We're going to have some special ones for him that we haven't trained on YouTube before or even put in any training program just so we can catch him off guard. Our goal is to trigger him, break him down, and uh, turn him into just, like I said, the elite, the, the, the ranger of the car business. And um, he's already well on his way. Um, he, just, he just got the elite negotiating course. I mean, I just want to tell you, man, I, I don't know what I would give to be 22 years old and have access to this type of training. Um, anyways, anybody watching this at all ages, yeah, we call it the unfair advantage. And, and he talked about his coaches um, he, earlier. Me and him were talking before the Zoom meeting. He said, hey, Andy, when I was in, um, when I was in the, the Army, I had a strength coach, right? And was, in the, was that in the Army or was that actually in your, in your school? Um, no, it's in the Army. Like our, our unit has its own strength coach. Okay, and you were talking about your strength coach. Who was it again that was your strength coach? Uh, his name is Matt Robel. You can look him up online. He, uh, he was a strength coach for the Buccaneers before he came over here. He was a beast. Yeah. So guess what? So he pushed you to new limits. Am I right? Yeah. Check this out. Had that, had your strength coach been your PE teacher in high school, right? Oh my gosh. I would have been freaking, I would have been like freaking big boy before all this happened. That would have been nice. But my point is with that being said, had you had the wrong coach, you might've not known yeah. what you should know. And then what happens is you end up one day with a wife, family, kids. You end up having this glass ceiling on your head, right, that says, hey, I can't do anymore. I've, I'm working 60 hours a week. I'm, give, I'm going all in. I'm working as much as I can. But you know what? I just can't seem to get to that next threshold. But then again, you got that PE coach, you know, that was soft on you, that didn't hold you accountable, that didn't give you elite training. Guess what? That's where you're going to be. But guess what? You get a good coach like the one you had with the Buccaneers. He goes, man, there is no ceiling. There's no limit on a human. Who you want to be, let's go there. You know, yeah. whether you want to be the strongest guy in the world, whether you want to take on the world and be the most successful car salesperson there ever was in life. Guess what? Do it. And by the way, I'll tell you one thing, people that are successful in the car business and make tons of money, they can go to any other business later on in life and destroy it because they're strong, strong businessmen. Selling cars is my way out. Okay. I've been a millionaire since I was 30 from selling cars, from selling cars. It's the most beautiful business in the world. Let's finish the sentence for anyone who is serious about becoming the best. And that's the magic keyword at the end. Um, you can't put titles on me. I was raised broke with nothing. And I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a stupid learner, okay? My teachers told me I was not going to make it. And literally, like, I just remember just, like, being labeled as, like, that guy's not going to make it. And that's cool. And I'm okay with that. But you know what? I'm the underdog. I love playing that position. And I'm just going to say, as I see um, guys like Luke, and Luke says, hey, man, I'm not great at learning either. You know what? I got to write it down.
write it down, write it down. I have spiral notebooks stacked up that I carry around for how many times I have to write something down to learn it. And it's just, it's just worth it. The juice is worth the squeeze guys to buckle down and pay the rent in advance. Um, Luke, you're freaking awesome, man. I'm just going to tell you guys, Luke, what state are you in? You're in Georgia. Currently in Georgia. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Luke's in Georgia, man. You guys, you can comment below. Rock and roll. I can't wait. You guys will see a lot more of Luke. But by the way, um, let's elevate your life. Let's elevate your game. You know what I'm saying? Luke is not only an amazing man, but also he's he, he's a part of the brotherhood, the sisterhood of the group. You know, if you're not in the Car Sales uh, Nation group, go to on Facebook, go to Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. You guys will see the crew. Luke's in there all the time. You're watching guys elevate all around the world right now and change their lives. Become part of the movement. Join. And uh, Luke, I really appreciate you, brother. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? Heck yeah. Can I say, can I say one thing? Yeah, rock and roll. Like how this, I, at least in my opinion, how anything works in life. Think of Conor McGregor, for example. You like him or not, he was the best fighter of all time in the UFC with two belts, right? Was he good because he just trained really, really hard by himself? No, he surrounded himself with the best coaches on earth and they trained him into who he became, right? Even if you started with a dealership that gave you bad habits or if you've been doing it for 20 years, it doesn't matter what you're doing. But when you find a coach that can elevate you who have done it themselves and can get you to that level, you just have to humble yourself down, eat up all the information you can and just do it. Like, I'm not trying to stroke... Mr. Elliott's ego at all right now, but he no. knows what he's doing. The information that he puts out works, you know, it's proven. So for, let's get on it guys. Car sales nation. I'll be, I'll be at the master closer seminar in August. So if you guys, if you guys are there, hit me up and say, Hey. Yeah. Yeah. We got a big group coming, man. So uh, I just want to say guys, every word that he says, man, I sure wish I could have repeated those same words when I was 22. Um, I didn't have that leader, but I'll tell you this at this time, no matter what age you're at, man, jump in. Okay. Elevate your life. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're just getting in. And by the way, if you're not selling cars right now and you're watching this video, guess what? He's just starting too. So at any point, it's time to get in. You just take action and become the executioner. Take over your life. So, uh, hey, brother, I'll see you soon. Okay. Awesome. Hey, see you, Mr. Elliott. Thank you. All right, buddy.